Did you know that the thermostat in your house is the same thing as a light switch? Allow me to explain. A thermostat is a simple switch at its core, but with temperature controls added to it. This allows it to turn the switches inside of it on and off automatically. But what I am about to show you is for educational purposes only, to help us better understand how a thermostat works in its simplest form. So please don't do this at home. Anyway, let's begin. I'm gonna start by taking the thermostat off, then taking all the wires out, and lastly, remove the base. Next up will be to measure and cut a hole for the electrical box that will be housing the switches. And for this project, I'll be using the center knockout to route the thermostat wires in. And in order for this idea to actually work, I also need to add a few pieces of wire. I have a whole bag of random wires to help me with this, but one long black wire should be enough. I cut the wire into five sections and stripped the ends off to get me five pieces that look like this. Before I continue, if anyone needs a reminder, here's the standard color code for a basic thermostat. I have a whole separate video on this if you need more information. Basically what's going on here is that I'm going to need power to go to all three of these switches. So what I'm going to do is add three pieces of wire to R, the red wire, which is the power wire. The end result looks like this, and if anyone cares to know, the technical name for these pieces of wire would be pigtails. And I'm going to need two more of these pigtails on the green wire, which is the indoor fan. The blue common wire will not be used at all, but I don't want to leave it bare, so I'm going to go ahead and just throw a little wire nut on it. Now that the pigtails are done, I can proceed to wire up the switches. I'll start with the air conditioner switch first. I put one of the red wire pigtails into the top terminal, which will be my power coming in, and the bottom terminal is going to need the yellow wire, which is for the cooling, and one of the green wire pigtails for the indoor fan. This way, when I turn my switch on, power is sent to the air conditioner and to the indoor fan, turning them both on. Next up is the furnace switch, and just like the AC, a power wire goes into the top terminal, and the white heating wire goes into the bottom. With heating, there is no need for the indoor blower wire, since the furnace itself will automatically turn it on after it preheats. The last switch will be for the indoor blower motor only. This will be essentially the same thing as a fan switch on the thermostat. Just like the previous switches, power goes in on the top and the green wire will go on the bottom. Turning this switch on will power on the indoor blower motor only, without turning the furnace or the air conditioner on. With that, all the wiring is complete. If what I did in this video doesn't fully make sense to you, I would suggest watching my video on the basic wiring diagram of a thermostat. That video should help answer most of the questions you may have. And to make this little mess that I made more cosmetically appealing, I will screw down the switches and add a nice decorative wall plate as a finishing touch. Oh yeah, and while we're talking about finishing touches, I can't forget about my complimentary custom engraving services, right? Nice. I think it looks pretty good. What do you think? I think that the thermostat project that I just made with the switches paints a really good picture of how a thermostat works at its core without all the features and the temperature controls added to it. The whole point of an air conditioner and furnace thermostat is to automatically turn those units off when temperatures get hot enough or cold enough. Whereas this switch setup that I made here, if I turn the heat on, It'll just stay on and on and on. It'll not turn off automatically until your house gets super, super hot. So this setup is very impractical. Same with the air conditioner. If I turn the air conditioner on and forget to turn it off, this would have the AC running all the time and eventually the evaporator coil is gonna to start to freeze over as well. 
So a thermostat is really just a few micro switches that are automatically controlled by the temperature sensor and a little control board inside of the thermostat. I have a video where I completely take a thermostat apart and disassemble it to show you where all those little switches are, where the control board is, and how the thing works from the inside. It's a really interesting video, so if you have the time, do check it out. So this setup is rather impractical, but what could make it more practical is a timer switch. When I was in Home Depot, I saw quite a few different timer switches that were available, and those things would actually make this a lot more usable. So basically, instead of a switch, a normal switch that's on off, a timer switch will only turn the thing on for a set amount of time. A good example of a timer switch can be found in some public restrooms. You know, when you come in and instead of a light switch, you have that rotary switch that you crank up, for 10, 15, or 20 minutes, and that's how long the light will stay on before it automatically turns off. A switch like that might actually make this setup usable. They also have much nicer timer switches out there as well. I saw one with six buttons, and you can choose different times, 20 minutes, 40 minutes, 60 minutes, 120 minutes, and whatever button you press, that's how long the unit will run. The only thing to look out for with timer switches, though, is that some of them need a neutral wire. If a timer switch needs a neutral wire, then it would not work for a setup like this. But honestly, if we're talking about practical use and somebody really wants just a manual thermostat without all the extra buttons, without the smart features, the programming, any of that, there's plenty of options on Amazon of very simple, basic thermostats. One of the classic favorites is the round dial thermostat. They have an updated version of that and it works great, super simple and easy to use. Another great option is a Honeywell thermostat that features auto switching, which means they completely took out the option for heating or cooling. It just automatically turns on the furnace or the cooling depending on what temperature you selected. And to make it more attractive, especially for people with reading glasses, the font, the numbers on this thermostat are really huge and hard to miss. I'll add Amazon links to some of these thermostats in the video description. And that's all I had for you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the comments. But if you're still here, let me tell you a little story before you leave. There was a guy sitting on a bench, and he looked pretty depressed. He was a little gloomy. Pretty soon, another man was coming his way, and he sees him, that he's depressed, and he asks him, hey, what's going on? Why are you so upset? And the first guy says, you know, if you sit down on the bench next to me, I'll tell you all about it. So he sits down, and the first guy tells him all about it, and pretty soon, they're both sitting there gloomy and depressed. A short time passes, and a third man comes their way. He sees them looking all miserable and he says, fellas, why the long face? And the second guy tells him, dude, if I tell you why, you're going to be upset as well. He says, oh, try me, man. I'm a positive guy. Nothing's going to upset me. He's like, okay, well, sit down next to me and I'll tell you all about it. So he sits down next to him and he says, so what's up? What's going on? Why are you both so upset? So the second guy finally turns to him and says, bro, the reason we're both upset is because the bench that we're sitting on was freshly painted.